Do you have a stream deck? Have you utilized multi-action yet? If not, I'm going to show you basic setup using the multi-action and being able to hit one button and have it cycle through different scenes, open and close overlays, all kinds of things. So let's go into demo mode. So here's my stream deck. I have some scenes here. I have some uh, overlays. We're going to go ahead and set this up with a multi-action. And come down here. Just going to drag that up there. And then anything you want, you're just going to drag it in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I use Ecamm. I'm going to want to run a scene. And then I am going to have five. I'm going to have five overlays. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to want to stop the five overlays. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I think I got them all in there. All right, so let's start with the top one. Uh, the scene I want to run is new automatic group. Uh, overlay, we're going to start the timer. And the next one is some text. So this. Vertical video. And this is just uh, something that I did earlier, uh, messing around, doing vertical video with Ecamm. And we're just going to select each one. And now I'm going to select them backwards. because These are when they're going to disappear. And we're going to add some delays in here. So I, I just want to set all of these up first. Go here. I believe we're on that one. There should be at least one more if I didn't mess this up. Uh, what well, We have the timer as well. And then we're going to get rid of the timer which was already selected. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to scroll down because we want to add a delay. So we're going to run the scene, start the timer, and my first delay is going to be here. Now we're going to change that to three seconds. So it says 1,000. We're going to change it to 3,000 which is three seconds. Now I'm kind of curious to see if I could just duplicate this, and I can. So this is the first time I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like it just, did it duplicate it or did it just move it? I think it just moved it. Let me try that again. It says here the multi-action delay. Thought I was duplicating it. I must be dropping it in the wrong place. No, it looks like it's just moving it. That's weird. So I guess you can't do that. So that was a live test. So I'm going to want it there. We're going to add another one. It's going to the bottom here. We're going to add one in between each of these. Okay. And then we're going to just set them at three seconds. I was hoping I could have just duplicated it. I must, I think there's a way I'm probably just doing something. Uh, wrong. Well, it says copy. Ooh. Did that work? Yeah, but it's a one second, so it was a waste of a copy. If it was a three second one, that would have been better, like this one. So I can't copy it. Let's go down here.
Move that one over. And then we'll check them all. So that's three seconds. That's three seconds. That's one second. I'm just going to copy this one. Copy that. If I could put them in the other one. I tried experimenting live. Would have been nice. Let me add three seconds. That one says 1,000 to 3,000. Would have been nice to just copy it. Maybe that, that could be a future feature. So just going to double check. Play the group. This could get confusing, so it's good to check. Start the timer. Three seconds later, this vertical video made on another three seconds computer another three seconds this one we're going to start with computer three seconds turn off made on three seconds turn off vertical video delay pretty sure i probably did something wrong <laughs> maybe different order but either way it's it should just do it every three seconds and then gonna get rid of the, the uh, timer. And then when we get rid of the timer, we're also gonna change the scene because I'm gonna want it to move scenes out of the, the group that's like doing all the camera switching because that's the group that does a lot of camera switching. And we're gonna get out of the, oh, drop it in there. And that one is called Canon. So that's good there. Now, someone had mentioned before about playing music through the stream deck and then changing scenes and the music was still playing. So I'm going to do that one as well. So we're going to go here. So when all this starts, I'm also going to want to play some audio. I'm going to put that here. But to make sure I only play about three seconds of the audio, I'm also going to put right here to stop it. Because I don't know if I'm going to get like a copyright strike. So I think three seconds should be safe. Um, it's supposed to be uh, royalty free, I believe, but I'm not going to take the chance. So hopefully three seconds is good. So we're going to go up. Now I'm going to come out of demo mode and I'm going to hit the button and we should see some changes uh, come up. So there's the timer. We should start seeing some text come in. I hope the music is playing. I forgot to put my headphones on. So I probably messed that part up. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, we'll have to double check. Uh, when I go to watch the recording. And then, oh, wow, my camera disappeared. So I must have accidentally set it to one of the cameras and then changed scenes. So for some reason, my camera disappeared. Let's go back into demo mode. And this is why you test. This is why you test. Let's see where I made my mistake. So we are here. We got the timer says play audio then it should have been three seconds stop audio i'm gonna put my headphones on this time so i want to hear if the audio is gonna play <clears throat> that was that was my fault for not doing that one and then we have to bring in this vertical must have made a mistake somewhere here so my camera disappeared on computer, then it's computer. Made on, that's the one we want. 
Okay. This. And that's the timer. And then I should have went to the cannon. So that's interesting because I don't see anything that should have turned off the cannon. Uh, my, my camera, unless I made a mistake. Because this is a run scene. So that's very interesting. So my camera did turn off. It looked like it turned off. I don't see anything in here. So we're going to go back up. And we could try it. But before we do that, I'm going to come in here. Yeah, camera's on. That camera's on. That camera's on. Ah. What happened to this camera? Looks like it's no longer selected. Oh, two of my cameras stopped working. That is interesting. Let me go ahead and fix this. Give me a second. All right. So I just had to reboot uh, a couple cameras. So I'm just going to double check, make sure they're, they're all working. They're all working. So we're going to come back to here. I'm going to move this to the side for I can see my audio levels. Because I could have sworn I told it to play music. And we're going to hit the button. And it doesn't look like, oh, there we go. The timer came on. It doesn't look like the music's playing. So that's interesting. I'll have to double check that I never selected the music. There we go. I never selected the music. Let's go ahead and stop this. That's what it was. I never selected the music. That was the problem. Let's go back in here. Double click. Scroll up. This is why we test. Choose music. <laughs> I know I'm not, I'm, I'm not completely lost here. And then that's just going to stop. Okay. Now we should be good. So the first thing I need to do is turn all of these off. And then we got to go out of the mode. And now we're going to hit the button. It... <laughs> It's not live, but I don't edit, so you're getting all of this. Just saying. And now the music's working. And it stopped because, again, I, I wanted it to stop uh, very quickly. Just wanted to show you that you could start music, you could stop music. We're bringing everything onto the screen. We're rotating the cameras. Now, the rotating of the cameras is part of Ecamm. We're in a, a folder that's designed where I can set a timer. Everything should start disappearing. And we should come back to the main camera. Now we're back to the main camera. So again, double click. Just add anything and everything you want. Put in some delays if you want it to delay. Um, you can have it start music from stream deck you can have a stop music from stream deck and i mean i use ecamm but there's a lot of things in the stream deck that you can use there are you know you got obs twitch you got a bunch of things in here keynotes but yeah that's your multi-action that's going to be it for this video and again like I said, I don't edit, so you're getting everything with the mistakes. If I'm going to change anything, I'm just going to do a whole new video. This is my fourth one. <laughs> this is the last one. You have yourself a good one, and I don't even have my little subscribe and all this other stuff banner because I did this on the fly. So I'm, I'm rambling. That's it. Take care.